What up everyone and welcome to episode number one of Brew, a new coffee series that I decided to make. In this series, I will be going over some of the top quality, top shelf products that I found in the coffee world. Within each review, I'm going to be going over four main categories that I think coffee is comprised of. And those four categories are smell, texture, color, and of course taste. I'm also going to be touching up on the overall quality of each coffee, the coffee brand, and the vibe that I get from the coffee. Now that we've gone over what I'm covering in the video, I hope you all enjoy. What's up y'all? So the coffee that I'm going to be reviewing today is called Illy. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm sure you guys have seen this out here. It's pretty mainstream. I haven't not seen it in most places. It's one of those top dog competitors, so I decided I would go ahead and try to start with this one. It's the Intenso version that they have. There's one, two, three, four different versions. They have Classico, Intenso, Forte, and Decaf. This is the runner-up to Forte, which is their strongest uh, version of their coffee. The very first category we're gonna be going over is smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and let you all know what I think. The main smells that I get from this are that kind of musky, old-fashioned coffee smell. It's definitely not over powerful. Um, I'm getting like an old fashioned coffee smell, kind of musky with a little undertone of sweet and fruity. It smells aged, again, I don't know if that necessarily comes into play too much with coffee. I'm definitely getting that musky kind of uh, flavor with this one and, and again that fruity kind of undertone is coming up. I would say that the top three that come to my head are musky, sweet, and fruity. And again, just that old fashioned coffee smell, nothing too crazy, nothing overpowering, but just really nice subtle smells in this one. So the next category that I'm going to be going over is texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit out of the spoon that I have here. I'd say the texture quality in this one is fairly fine. I don't see any crazy lumps or bumps in this. It looks like they did a pretty good job with it. Um, it's not the finest that I've seen in the coffee that I've gotten, but it's, uh, it's pretty close. So there's definitely no crazy chunks or any clumps in there that are sticking together. I definitely give this a good thumbs up. I would say that this is a 8 out of 10 for the, uh, for the grinds. So 8 out of 10 for texture, y'all. So looking at the color, it's actually really dark. It's not the strongest version that Illy has, but it comes out really, really black. I mean, there's almost no brown present in that. I'm gonna give it, just because I like my coffee dark, I'm gonna give the color a uh, good solid nine out of 10 because that is really pretty. Just a nice, nice dark, dark, dark. And of course, the final test of coffee is the taste test. So let me go ahead and try this and I'll let you guys know what I think. It's very smooth. It's a little bitter, it's not over the top. It doesn't really like strike me as one of the strongest coffees, but it definitely has a kick to it. It's definitely got that sweetness that I was talking about. So I totally understand why they, they would name this one Intenso. It's got that, that little uh, flair at the end that, that gets you. It's honestly not that earthy. Um, I'm still getting that musk from the, from the smell that I got from it. But overall, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a good dark blend coffee, dark roast. It almost has that, that kind of woody taste to it as well. I would give it, I'm gonna go 8.5 out of 10. It's not really a nine, but it's getting pretty close, so. If you guys are interested in Illy Coffee, go ahead and check it out. Check out your local stores for it. Um, this isn't a promo or ad for the company. Um, I'm just giving coffee reviews and, uh, and hopefully as I produce these videos, uh, the quality of the videos will get better and the way that I describe the coffee as well as well. I just wanted to get the first episode out there for you guys to enjoy and to view and to understand the product and, and what it's really about before you go out there and buy it yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know if there's any coffees that you guys want me reviewing in the future. Thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, y'all.